about uh, 1,000 migrants at the peak uh, my, uh, tra across Mexico in a caravan. It started uh, March 25th in the city of Tapachula near the Guatemalan border, and they started arriving in large numbers last week in Tijuana. About 200 were ready to claim asylum on Sunday, but they were blocked because U.S. authorities said uh, there was no room to accommodate them uh, at this border crossing here in San Diego. Uh, last night, about uh, the first eight were allowed in, and this morning, organizers are saying that another six were allowed in. So that leaves about 140 or 150 that are still waiting in Tijuana. There are most of many of them are camped out in a large patio that leads into the uh, that leads into the border crossing. These caravans have been going on for 10 years or so uh, with very little attention. This got an extraordinary attention because of Donald Trump. Uh, he's been paying very close attention and commenting on Twitter and in public forums. So if his attorney, uh, his attorney general, Jeff Sessions, Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen, they are pr promising a swift and uh, stern hand to deal with this. Uh, with this surge, which is relatively small, 200 people is not a large number, but they are, uh, they have made it, a, uh, the Trump administration has made it into sort of a test case of how they're going to deal with, uh, with, these, with these asylum cases. So it could take uh, three years or more for these asylum cases to be resolved. It's unlikely they would be detained that long, but they have a long road ahead. The people seeking asylum are almost entirely from Guatemala, El Salvador, and Honduras fleeing uh, violence. Uh, I talked to at least a dozen of them, and there were horrible stories about how their lives were being threatened. That to qualify, they have to meet a very limited criteria. And I will say the, uh, the Central Americans have had a very low success rate at eventually winning asylum.